Yo, what up? This is your boy Maul from Maul from Obese Productions. And today I'm going to show you how to make beats on Reasons 3.0. I've been using Reasons for about 3-4 months right now. I was one of them dudes that said that I'll never do, in, do music on a computer. But uh, I've been persuaded that doing music on the computer is, uh, is let me tell you, it, it is very convenient. It is very convenient. You know what I'm saying? If you just have enough hard drive space and a computer that'll run the programs, you know, I, I do recommend. What I'm going to do, I'm going to do it. I'm going to just go through a little joint that I've been doing um, with, a, with some samples and stuff in it, and we'll get right into it. Now, since I got all the, um, all my samples chopped up the way I want it, I'm going to let you hear, hear how the samples are going just without the music. <laughs> Actually, that's my intro right there. But the uh, action verse is going to come in right here. That's how that sound. That's how the uh, sample goes. That's how, that's how one part of the sample goes. Um, is going. And on the, co on the actual on the chorus, it's a little different. But uh, we'll get into that. So, what I'm going to do, since we already got our samples and stuff, I'm going to pull up my drums. Alright. Now this rack here in the reasons is called the re called the redrum. And what it does, it lets you I mean it's, it's it works the same way just as the uh N and X. You know, just real simple, you know what I'm saying? This how the sound from the drum sounds together. That's my drums and my sample. Now, what I do, I pull, I went back and I pulled another rack, another NNX2 rack. And I got a B3, um, got the B3 organ on it and um, loaded up in here. This is, this is an actual, I mean, an authentic B3. And when you hear it, you, 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 you know. That's an actual authentic B3 organ and I, I have I have a couple of other organs that I choose from I just like that that Hammond sound so that's how the organ is going on this song I'm gonna just solo everything out and just let you hear the organ let me put let me go to it all right once I got that out the way then I just uh, I went and added a bass line. Now this particular rack, rack is called a subtractor, and it lets you choose from different bass uh, you know bass samples that you want to use. On this particular track here, I use the LA Ride bass. Got the bass going on. Like I said, I don't know if you're gonna be able to hear it much, but you know. And then my last. Last rack that I use, I used Dr. Rex. And what that is, is just basically, you know, it's like a, uh, it's a loop machine. You know, it has different Congo bungos and stuff, and you know, what I'm saying, um, you know, different things you want to just continue in a loop, you know, by itself. But what I done, I didn't put the, I didn't put it in loop mode. I just actually played the Congos by myself. You know, what I'm saying, this is how the actual song sounds. So. I mean, I just played them on my own, you know, and this is how this sound. On this particular track, I only use one, two, three, four, five, five different racks. I do have some songs that are long, I mean, that use a whole bunch of instruments, but not on this particular one. I didn't want to take away from the sample, you know what I'm saying, of the instruments that's in the sample, like they got the lead guitar going, so I, it make no sense for me to put a lead guitar in there. I just actually added a, you know, the bass, the B3 and the um, the bongos and the drums. You know what I'm saying? This is how the actual song sounds. Fast forward to the uh, to the chorus and just let you hear the change in the song. I'm gonna 
just fast forward to the uh, to the chorus and just let you hear the change in the sample and hear the change in the beat and you know in the other instruments. So I'm gonna just scroll down and I'm gonna go to my to the chorus. The chorus start about right here. Once I put all that together, that's pretty much it. And then what I'll do, I'll format the track and this and then I just paste them together, you know what I'm saying? I put the you know four sixteen for the uh for the verse, then I do my chorus and this and this and that and that. And you know that's and after all I do all that, that's pretty I'll, much I grant it. you I grant you that you know you have a lot of you have a lot of dudes that just only do music on computers but they are handicapped and the reason I say handicapped is because if they if they walk into a, a situation where it's an MPC or you know as a, um, a SP505 or 606 or you know some kind of drum machine you know the first thing they're going to be like you know wow I don't know how to work this you know what I'm saying I don't know how to work through the loops you know in my case is, is I, don't, I have the best of both worlds because I can't walk into a situation and use an MPC and then I can also walk into a situation and use it's good to know both sides of the world you know what I'm saying and I've I just been blessed you know what I'm saying to you know learn both you know what I'm saying and you know I stay always teachable you know what I'm saying it's very convenient I, I can't say that enough I know I've said it about 50 million times but um, that's Reasons 3.0 and um that's it, man. Before I get out of here, I just want to send some shouts out to Levesta White for PI Productions. Actually, he the one who really, you know, um, persuaded me and helped me to the Reasons 3.0. Uh, he another Christian producer out of um, out of Texas, out of Austin, Texas. Big shouts out to him. Um, my man Preston, aka Survivor from out of South Carolina. My man Corey Hicks from out of New Orleans. Uh, New cat that I'm working with by the name of Wild Child from out of South Carolina. And my own group, Sound Minds Music, right here in um, Kingsland, Texas. Um, we getting ready to, we'll be we'll be doing we working we actually we're going to the, going into the studio next week. Um, and we will be working on the album. Hopefully it'll be out, you know what I'm saying, around August, September. So be on the lookout for that. A couple of projects that I am working on. I'm working on uh, I've been blessed and have the opportunity to be working with Israel Israel from Everyday Process um, Cross Movement Artists. I'll be working on his project um, next year. I mean, well, in the summertime. That's that's real. That's a real big, big thing going there. I'm really thankful for that. Um, I'll be working on my man Survivor's album. He's going to be working on his uh, coming out with his album and uh, starting on his album in January. Uh, my man Corey Hicks is coming out with his sophomore album, I believe. Yeah, I think this is his second album that he's coming out with, and um, working on Wild Child's album, and my own group, Sound Minds album. So that's what I got going right now. But at the same time, I'm still doing uh, tracks for in, for um, other cats. If you're looking for beats, man, you know, hit me up on MySpace www.myspace.com slash Marfamo Beats. Uh, productions without the C, more for more beats productions without the C, or you can um, hit me up on uh, my Gmail, m4m productions at gmail.com, or you can call me at 830 220 0022. That's about how it's on the next one. Right?